to do the right thing even when nobody is watching? Of course we do, but it's not for the reason that you might think. Let me explain by reading a story out of this book called Take the High Road. The story is called When Nobody Is Watching. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Amin is thirsty. He takes the orange juice carton from the fridge. No one is looking, he thinks to himself. Why bother with a cup? Mom comes into the kitchen. Ew, Amin. Oh, man. Busted. How many times do I have to tell you not to drink from the carton? It's unhygienic. All your germs are on it now. Um, sorry, Mom, says Amin. Out of the corner of his eye, Amin sees a batch of fresh cookies on the counter. White chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies? Masha Allah, says Amin. Take your hungry eyes off those cookies, Mr. Amin. But dessert is for after dinner, not before, says Mom. Oh, right, says Amin. Just then, the phone rings. It's mom's office. I have to go take care of an emergency at work. Hasib should be here any minute. As soon as mom leaves, Amin's eyes dart to the counter. Should I eat a cookie, Amin thinks to himself. I haven't had any dinner yet, but... Oh, why not, he says. Amin grabs the tray of cookies and sits on the sofa to eat. He spots the TV remote. He thinks about his mom saying, No watching TV while you eat. But nobody's home, Amin thinks to himself, so no one will know. Amin watches his favorite cartoon. Oh! This part is my favorite. <laughs> Amin enjoys the cookies. These are the best cookies ever. Ooey, gooey, and warm. Amin reaches for another cookie and another and another. Amin reaches for one last cookie. His hand feels only the cold metal baking sheet. What? The tray is empty? I have to make more cookies fast, thinks Amin. Amin stands up, but he doesn't feel well. My stomach is hurting so bad, Amin thinks. Amin sits back down. I feel sick. I think I need to rest. Amin lays his head back and falls asleep. Hasib arrives at the front door. Why is the TV on, Hasib wonders. Hasib finds Amin asleep with an empty tray full of crumbs by his side. He turns off the TV. Amin, wake up. Huh? Hasib, when did you get here? Mom asked me to come and check on you. Did you eat this whole tray of cookies? Asks Hasib. Ashamed, Amin slowly nods his head. I don't feel well, Hasib. Hasib sits down next to Amin. Do you know why Mom is such a stickler for the rules? Asks Hasib. Um, because she secretly wants to be a police officer, replies Amin. Don't be silly, replies Hasib. She just doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. Mom taught me that 
For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. What does that mean? asks Amin. It means every time we do something good, it changes us. And every time we do something bad, it changes us too. Sometimes the change is easy to see. Other times, we can't see the change, but it's still there. All right, before we go on a couple of questions, mom says every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if I do something good like work out or study and do my homework, well, the equal and opposite reaction is that I'll get stronger, I'll get smarter. That makes sense. Well, what's the equal and opposite reaction of doing something bad? Well, if you eat a lot of cookies, you'll get sick. Let's read on to learn more. So, you think I'm feeling sick because of the cookies I ate? Definitely, little brother, says Hasib. I guess breaking the rules isn't very sweet. Hasib looks at Amin and doesn't laugh. And this, my friend, this, my friend, is the equal and opposite reaction to a bad joke. Because <laughs> he said it wasn't sweet. I love this story. I love this story because even when nobody is watching, we should still do the right thing. Why? Because every action has an equal and an opposite reaction. Alhamdulillah.